can I help you? Oh uh, yes, I'm calling. Um, how do I go about giving information on drug dealers? Uh, let me transfer you to the agent on duty. Hold on one second, okay? Okay, thank you. Yes, it is. That's your time. Uh, yes. Um, hi, my name is Terrell Taylor. Um, may I have your name? Cobb. Cobb. T O M. Oh, okay. Um, Who are you calling, Terrell? Um, D E A. I want. I want to speak to you. Go ahead, sir. Um, I I'm calling about a drug dealer from my town. And I wanted to report them. Yes. Hey, Terrell. Yes. The, the number that you dialed before. Yes. You got to me. What was that? Uh, 804-627-6300. Give me one second. Okay. Because whoever that is has directed the calls to me, and uh, I, I, I'm an IT guy. Okay, okay. So that's 804 627 6300. 6300? Yes. Because I, I, it, 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 that's probably a made number for DEA. I don't know, but whoever's transferring you is transferring you to a wrong number so I would suggest calling them back and telling them that okay all right thank you and I'm, and I'm gonna do the same because you're my second phone call okay thank you no problem bye bye, bye, -bye. Dragon Force, can I help you Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Um, I just called a few minutes ago, and you transferred me. You said it was to an agent. But yep, our phone lines got all mixed up. Let me transfer you to the correct person this time. Okay, thank you. Hold on one second. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Drug enforcement, how may I direct your call? Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, I'm calling to see if I can work closely with someone regarding a drug dealer from my community. Okay, and are you calling from for the Richmond or the Norfolk area? Uh, I guess the f office will be Richmond because it's in Lancaster, Virginia. So. Okay. All right. I will transfer you to the duty agent. Um. Yes. And about that, I called yesterday, and okay. you, and you ended up transferring me to someone in the community who wasn't DEA, and. I, what? I, yeah, you transmitted to, to me to some IT specialist named Tom. So I, I don't know what that's about, but... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and it happened It happened twice. The second time you transferred me, I got, like, a civilian messaging system. The huh. first, yeah, the first time I spoke with someone, the second time I got a civilian messaging system, you know. And in the, in the first time I spoke to one, well, he was a civilian, too. So, you know, and I and I just and I called the FBI, they gave me your number out and they did an intake and was trying to take my information, but I was having issues with the agent. She wasn't being patient with me and she was asking questions 
that not that they was bad questions they was just out of place and she really wasn't trying to hit me out you know and you know my name is Terrell Taylor and it's not you know my I have a bizarre story you know to tell you know and people are somewhat familiar with it so for her to act the way she acted it tells me a lot and I, I won't express what it tells me to you but it tells me a lot and I, I didn't had issues like this in the past from agents um, of government agents you know not trying to hear me out and it, it's unfair and you know it's, it's just it's, 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 it's wrong and technically illegal Um, let me see if the duty agent is in. Can I put you on a brief hold? Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for holding. I do have a duty agent on call today, but he was called out of the office for a little while. Um, can I give him your phone number and have him return your call when he gets back to the office? Um, what is his name? Um, I will let him give you his name, <clears throat> if I could, please. Do y'all um, not give out agent's name? Because I would like to know who calling me, you know, so. Um... Well, we, we don't typically give the name of the agent out. Um, what about his badge number? Do, do you no. Know, you don't give that out? No. Either? And if anybody ever calls you and gives you a badge number from us, then it's not from us because we don't do that. So, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, you, you don't have an office to where you could just transfer me to someone? I can transfer you to the um, duty cell phone that he would monitor when he gets back that would leave a message so, if you want to do that. So does that explain why it felt like I got a civilian number the second time I called yesterday? Because it might be because we do have a duty phone um, because quite obviously most of our work is done outside of the office walls. So we don't always have somebody sitting here to take your call. Um, because they have work to do outside, of course. So when they get back, they answer the duty calls. So the, um, and it is a mailbox that it would go to. Okay. But I don't know who that Tom person is you said you got yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I don't know who that would be. Yeah, he, he said he was a civilian. He was an IT specialist. Um, and I feel, personally, I feel like, you know, someone trying to report a crime and you... A, a duty officer cell phone. I don't know, you know, how that work exactly as far as transferring to someone's cell phone. That that seems a bit unprofessional when you when you are actually the DEA. But you know, I don't work for the DEA, so I don't know y'all procedures. Um, well, this is our procedure, so why don't you just follow along with what they are? All right, this is uh, Agent Taylor. So, um, if you have something to report, go ahead and report it. If not, call 911. Uh, can I, uh, excuse me, sir? I've I'll, already answered you. Uh, I, okay, I'll give you the, my number. All right, great. What's your number? 757-870-8700. Uh, okay. 6391. Very good. We'll have the duty agent call you back. You do that. 